Am plătit mică la market, nu? Mi-a făcut un bărbat să-i dă la papa. Tu plăi mere bună, eu plăi să-i dă la market. Nu, tu plăi lucru în papa, eu plăi bărbat să-i dă la tu plăi nu. N-a răplat tot plăi la n-a răplat o semn. E un white man. Ap în preț la fiș. Dar papa arim nu, e un chirap la tot. E un rai, să poți să-i dă în preț, să-i dă în preț. Păi mi-a stil bărbat să-i dă la tu plăi. Nu, am plăi lucru la n-a răplat, nu, tu plăi lucru strong. Papa e mai în fiscă pe nici nu, mi-e chirap, nu mi-e tocmi tupla. E tupla nu s-a vrut să mi-am trăit și le-i tăia, o să-mi ne-am harit tot plăsul lui tupla ea. E manghina lui tu. Voi și rai, tangi în rai, e până cu la anio. We also string up clotheslines so we can hang laundry indoors when it's raining outdoors. Do you remember many, many years ago giving us a matching penguin rug and shower curtain set? <laughs> that had. To, do you know how many years that had to be? Over 20. Wow. We have been using the same shower curtain and rug. I didn't even remember giving you that, but that's. That's so sweet of you to remember that I gave <laughs> <laughs> it. Took, it took a long time to figure out that that chart is really effective. Really? That's very visual community. Mm -hmm. They knew that they had drafted it. They knew that they had advisor checked it. But to them, it was as good as done. But when we put every single step that had to be done, then it was okay. This is what we need to do. And then when we got that step done, then we made a big celebration about someone going up and putting an X on the chart. Okay, oh, cool, cool, cool. And it was just a thrilling to see how fast we could keep moving and keep focused on what what needed to be done next. I had trained to be a high school math teacher, but I said, Lord, there's, there's people fighting over teaching jobs in the U.S. This is obviously a job that needs people and there aren't enough people to go around. And if you want me to change my plans, um, I'll go and do that work if you want me to. So I told God he'd have to open the doors for me and he just kept swinging doors wide open and brought us to Papua New Guinea. So, wow, they really do look better in person than they did in your picture, Julie. Yes, I'm very sorry. I couldn't do anything about that. <laughs> no, I'm thrilled. It's her baby. Wow, it's not not at all dark. Well, I typed at this book. <laughs> the Nali people are getting waterproof versions of this. That's the commemorative edition that was intended for us to give to our supporters and people who have invested in the program over the years. But as it turns out, when we found out there were going to be problems with getting the waterproof one done in time, we decided we're going to get these printed and that would be our backup plan in case the waterproof ones didn't make it. And it's a good thing because the waterproof one didn't make it. I mean, that's what it is. The books yeah. are supposed to be finished. Sorry, the coronavirus has resulted in factory workers not yeah. being able to get to the factories. Yeah. So the factory's been closed down, and that's put a delay on your books. Coronavirus. It breaks my heart. I, it just it breaks my heart. Because it was such a dream to have the books here for yeah. the dedication. Well, that makes sense. That's what... This is all for. Yeah. When we first arrived, it was not our goal to do a translation 
for someone else. We were more committed to helping them do the translation and for us to be trainers and mentors and facilitators rather than to be the, the translators uh, who did it all ourselves. It's not uh, doing something and handing them a book at the end and going home. We want to leave more than just a book. We want to leave people who are trained and able to continue on. Otherwise, the work will never be finished in Manas province with still 27 languages left to go. One last check to see if anything has come through from the printer about the waterproof Bibles, any of them being shipped to Port Morrissey. It's a very slow download. I can get the signal out here, I can't get the signal in the house. So I have to hold my phone up and try to catch the signal. I mean, there's still like a Monday flight from Hong Kong, so I keep thinking if they flight comes from Hong Kong on Monday. Could it possibly get here on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or any, any flight? What's the chance of that? It'd take a miracle. Sometimes I'm almost afraid to download and see what the printer said because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to be devastated by bad news. I want so much for the books to come in time for the dedication. At least some of them. Yeah, just gotta stop and catch my breath. There's about 30 languages in the province and three of them have a New Testament translated already. Some of the groups on Manas Island have less than a thousand speakers. In these little language groups, unless somebody comes in and helps them, they'll never get a Bible in their language. And I think they're still deserving of knowing God's word and having God communicate directly to them in the language that speaks to their heart. Because you said that Genesis, or I guess mom said that people didn't really get excited about having it. Do you think people here are gonna be excited about owning and reading? In this case, with the governor and the fundraising from Nolly people in Port Moresby, paying all the costs of the printing, we can give the books away, one per household for free, and they don't have to buy it. And so that will be, I think, more motivating for each family to get one and to try reading it. So yeah, I expect there'll be much more enthusiasm for this. Some people will be able to read it fairly easily. Some people will struggle at first, but it's just because they haven't had much to read in their own language before. That's why you're doing this, right? Even though like they could technically read it in English if they know how to read English, or they could read it in Pigeon. And it's they could like not... understand a portion of it, but it's not hitting it's not home. hitting home because it's not their heart language yeah so do you think this is also potentially going to help preserve the language yeah yes definitely yeah. it's a it's a language resurrection project in some sense are you kind of with mom in that like two terms you think you'll be done well i think my body was not going to hold out for much more than that. Yeah. I'm not even sure if my body's going to hold out for another term. Another one term? Yeah. So that one? That canvas right there, that's the food eating area for all the guests. Oh, nice. Visitors. This is over on the right here. That's the food area for here. Old Man Merilong Place. 
Piahon, piahon da wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Nice banner. Oh, you got the picture of the logo. You're going to make two of these, huh? One for here and one for town, or one blatazo? Uh, we know show. You know clear to us, huh? You know, we put him in the bat, you go Matthew, or no? Yeah. <laughs> Double T. <laughs> this is the shower. This? Really constructed. Oh, wow. So that it can be gravity fed from that tank. Let's see if it works. It may be shut off. Nope, it's not. Oh, and that's, that's hot because it's the pipes. You see the tank up there? 5,000 liter tank. The only thing is, I guess you can't see it. Hopefully <laughs> not. Hopefully we don't have a big wind. <laughs> plastic. Oh. Some language groups get so small that they die out. And uh, we lose that diversity and that ability to study those languages. It's kind of like when a species biologically dies out, we've lost something. Same efforts ought to be made to preserve some of the languages which are unique in the world. We as Bible translators are also linguists who are helping to provide knowledge about the world's languages to the wider community. Think about the people who don't have access to God's Word the way we do. I wonder how they get by sometimes. I look to the Bible when I need help and encouragement and wisdom and comfort. And there's all kinds of times when grief comes along and pains and problems that we turn to the Word for guidance and help. People who don't have that, they are missing out not only on the opportunity to have a relationship with God if they don't understand how they can do that, but just all the wisdom that comes from His Word. And so I want to see everybody in the world have access to that and it keeps us going every day. Long black time of the team has been sent to play camp plus to 40 years now. To the same. The people are not even aware. The people are waiting long black time. The people are asking. The only time they come. Come up long enough by looking. Three days to come tomorrow. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and by you can come up with. Or some little America, I want to stop this. Sorry, no one play, you know, come. One school, no for one, no cherry, to let me know in car. Because one last city, I will go around. No, I stop in Boko Park, no one man, not in good number. No good old car in city, I will go around that road. Or, so now, no come back. Or, two blah, 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 or market mouse, no one can. They are planning now to go to university, but then we have to read in doctor's law. What can be seen? Doctorate law, master's law, diploma, one and law. But don't like read the doctor's law. But we go to the elementary. God is making easy. We are not finding it. We are not finding God in Loringa. We are not finding God in Mosby. We are not in America. We are not in China. And God is not in the language. Time we talk in language, go to the same way. Same spot, same second, same minute, same day, same hour. Mm -hmm. And go to the same way because language blow you and it touch you, help you. So, privilege blow you, me. The time in this the time, you can have time on God to talk less. Thank you. <laughs> I got programmed long opening carton, first carton, now first book he come out. Suppose David Dryo, I mean, a 
come, suppose all they can carry them, go along so honey you. And by one blah, long two blah, by stop long hoping him carton, now long pulling first book he come out. And this blah Mary, yeah. And by pulling first book he come out. <laughs> you blog at the Save, suppose Martha and a man blog and Matthew, you know, got interest, long support him this blood translation work. By program, I think he must die in his long blood time ago. But Martha, and we talk, suppose two blood man, he you know, up long winning program, you know, me play help him. Me play line long place. Me play line, you know, got big play school or same two blood, but me play got bell long make him walk. Now because long Martha, now man blog in, to play sing out him Enoch, to play sing out him Elijah, to play sing out him all picking in Eve, long come help him walk. Now behind all some blood line too, time Luke go penis, time Johnson go penis, and Matthew and Martha, he hold him program. On behalf of me, Susan, family belong me, Olgata, we like to thank you long you, give me shake hand past time. <laughs> training that we would like to provide for our Nali translators. We're not just only here to help the Nali people, but a lot of other languages here on Manus also are asking us, we want the Bible translation in our language too. What do we do? How do we get started? And it's overwhelming. Jerry and I will not always be here. One of the ways that we can help all the other people of Manus is by training our Nali translators to be teachers so that they can go out and teach people from other languages on Manus to do Bible translation. And we know that when we leave, that there will be people here who could also teach translation skills and help other languages. never have a typical day. Work is always new and it's always interesting. And it's fun to sit around the translation table doing a different verse that we haven't been translated or checked before. And all of a sudden the lights go on. You see people understanding something that they never, un they'd read that verse in a pidgin trade language many times before, but all of a sudden you realize that they're hearing it in their language and they're getting the meaning for the first time. <laughs> Jerry and Sue, greetings. I am touching base with you as a member of the PNG COVID-19 response team. The team met this morning and among many other things, discussed the risks that are inherent in a large gathering such as a dedication celebration. Unfortunately, many of the ways that have proven effective to restrict transmission are also things that are basically counter-cultural here in PNG and potentially offensive. We realize your event is already underway in multiple ways and it isn't our intention to try to close things down at this point. However, we would like you to seriously consider practical ways to limit potential impacts. Our coordinator for the transportation, just 20 minutes after this, she said, Hi everyone, I just got a phone call from admin regarding COVID and our trip to Manus. Whew. I thought it was about to be canceled, but we just barely squeaked in. There's no confirmed cases in the country. So everybody in the villages don't have it. And everybody from SIL 
most likely doesn't have it. So the only ones that they're basically worried about are those of us that came from the U.S., which is the five of us. It's yes, you five visitors especially need to try not to contact too much with lots of people because we don't want to give it to all of our Nali friends. <laughs> culturally what they do with special things like this, wrap them in white, so we're doing it. So it's just going to be like fold it all up yeah. into a little ball. Yeah, that's the that's mm -hmm. thing. Welcome, welcome, my good friends, and us and sisters, welcome. I'm exhausted. <laughs> we have everything but the waterproof Bibles. Sad about that. <clears throat> would have thought that the coronavirus would have delayed our books just enough to not be able to make them get here on time. The factory was shut down for two weeks and that was the two weeks we needed to get the books here. So I'm, I'm sad about that. But um, like I said, I'm gonna trade my sorrows tomorrow for the joy of the Lord and rejoice in everything that we do have and the beautiful day that it's gonna be. I'm feeling a bit stressed. There's too much to do and not enough time to do everything. I haven't written my speech for tomorrow yet, so I guess I'll have to do that later today. <sighs> Is we don't really know how this book will be received. We don't know if the Nali people are going to read it or they're just going to use it as a treasure. We don't know if they're going to be excited about this book coming or if they're just going to be excited that they've had a party today. setting up to show the Luke video in the Nali language tonight. I'm working on uh, my speech to be given in an hour or so, <laughs> which I have not had time, so we'll do our best here. I don't know, this is kind of a mixed emotion day. It's been a, a long time coming. My mind is racing too far, too fast, in too many directions to know how I feel. But that's how I feel. <laughs> Our 
Our team is made up of 12 people and none of them have graduated from high school. To them, all along, they have felt like they were working alone, that all the other Nali villages were not really much a part of it. And this team has been working for 20 years. And we're finally here at this day, March 19, 2020, all the fruit of their labor. And now they are just seeing the whole Nali community come together, sharing in this experience to celebrate the work that has been done by this team of 12. Hey, 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 hey. special time, long history, long nali, top place. History from Nali Top Place is part of Genesis chapter 11. Thank God he turned them all get the top place, he came out of less ground. But me sign long finish, long history, long cook, long revelation. God he talked, thank you me son up, long share king, long papa God. If I got representative, long all get the country, all get the kind skin, all get the kind top place by staff. Now top place Nali to by staff. Welcome, welcome to Nali, Benapu. Bible can be Everything will pass away, but your word will remain. One of them something where he like delay more, he no not stop him. Delay come long rain today, delay come long coronavirus, but God he no not long stop, now he no not long lose thing thing, long you blow get out. We shall and we get to anything. We have this money. All ladies after us. Trying to ask them to let the You must trust in Christ. Okay, baby, witness him now. David Ndrayo, na mata ponu, tubra, is a strong him, this is walk. The translation, na ilo get die. Na tete, keke, go and come up. Fight him on the tubra. David Ndrayo, when we cut him, we go now. Mata Pono men put him hand go inside, lo cut him, na Eli kiss him. One brother is the Bible come out. Na <laughs> future from Nami. In up long kiss him some blood book today. Me talk sorry, you know in up long all get the family kiss him one blood today. And um, wrong blown coronavirus, I think. <laughs> oh you may blame me, ma'am. But uh by thing out him some blood line on come kiss him Bible today. This morning, this is a Bible. Remember that can change him from hand you papa God. Remember I got faith, remember I got belief, this is what I talk, and we got power. That is our power by essential life to Roma. This book that's being distributed now will be able to give us a good idea of how accepted the book is and how much it's used and whether we've lost a lot of the Nali language. Thank you, Mr. Day, and we want to put a day with your testimony of life to you. But you would need a blessing, Lord, beginning every meal tomorrow. You would need a blessing, Lord, tomorrow, every meal tomorrow. As for myself, I am privileged to got this opportunity to read this text in my own vernacular, which is Nali language. Thank you. Pahas pen raya, wais tata marun, in rai pe Yesu Christus, dramat para sopato, arakiro polowo. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I wanted to invest my life in something that would last forever, something with eternal value. 
since we're investing in God's Word and people, we know that our life is not wasted and we're doing things that matter. And so it's motivating to get up and work each day. We look forward to seeing the fruit that God provides. And someday we'll have the privilege of standing around God's throne, worshiping with people from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. What greater motivation can you have? What greater goal can you be living for? Yes, God's love.